Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sandy and this is Topic Beauty. As you know, this is our tutorial series starting with eye looks. Um, so today, last time we met, we did two matte eyeshadows and if we were daring, we tried to shimmer with an eyeliner. Um, today, I thought we would sort of pick it up with what are we going to use? Three matte shadows and a shimmer. No eyeliner this time. I'm going to show you how to use a matte shadow or a shadow as an eyeliner. Um, I do this quite often if I want kind of like the color to match exactly the shadow that I have um, that, I'm, that I'm using. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. First, we need our tools. So pick your colors. Um, today we're going to be crazy. We're going to pick whatever colors we want. We're going to pick a, um, a light, medium, and darker shade. As light as you want, as medium as you want, and as dark as you want. Um, let's steer away from blacks for now, um, black colors for now, because they... They take a little bit of practice and I don't want you to freak out because sometimes I still freak out about it. Today I'm going to use this um, eyeshadow palette. It's from Hip Dot. It's the Zion palette. This is what it looks like. I'm covering my mirror so you don't see my washing machine. <laughs> I'm in my, I have my sort of beauty room on the other half of my laundry room. Um, so this is the palette. It's so pretty. We are going to, oh, tools. We are going to prime, of course, because that's very important. Today we're going to use a different one. I've been using this recently. I'm going to, I haven't tried this color actually, but we're going to try it today. Okay, so we are going to need two blending brushes. Just like last time. Just like last time, and I think we used the same brush because we didn't um, switch it, but whatever. It doesn't matter. You can clean it or rub it off on your clothes or a towel. I rub it off usually in my pajama pants. We are also going to need a pencil brush, which is this little bad boy here, and an angled liner brush, which is this one here and a shadow, uh, sort of like a flat brush. I'm gonna show you how to smudge that. Use this to smudge your eyeshadow. Last time we used a, a blending brush, which isn't wrong, but this one just gives you a little bit more pigment than the blending brush. So we're gonna use that. All right, so as you can see, my base is on. I'm going backwards these days because I usually do my eyes first, but I don't want to do a tutorial of an eye look with nothing on my face because I think mostly because um, then I, you would, I would have to wait and go back with a full face on so you can see the full look. So when you do your makeup, you can kind of get the idea of what a full look would look like when we're done with the eye look. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but it makes perfect sense to me for some reason. Okay, so we are going to prime and I'm going to use that disgusting brush that I always use. I'm not going to use my finger today because I already showed you how to do that with your finger. If you want to use your finger, you go right ahead. to the other eye. I lied. I used my finger on the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to take that little brush, I mean, little sponge, 
and just kind of tap off the edges here. I like, well, I think everybody likes eyeshadow primer. Some people don't, I actually. Um, it just makes your eyeshadows look more vibrant, more more beautiful, um, and it helps them last longer. I work 12-hour shifts, and um, my makeup generally looks pretty decent or really good most nights um, by the time I leave work. So, okay. So, we are going to use... I'm going to use this one. Um, it's from Sigma. I like it. So we are going to take, I think, Wander Lust, which is right here. That's going to be my um, that's going to be my light shade. So we're just going to take that tap off a little bit and just bring that. Remember your stamp, stamp, stamp back and forth motions is your your blending. You're applying color when you stamp it on. You can apply color by brushing back and forth, but I find that takes a long time. And I'm bringing this all over the lid today. We're just gonna bring that up to meet that color. So I brought it right up over my eye, my eye, my my eye bone, my orbital bone, because that's the shape of my eye. Follow the shape of your eye. Don't try to match exactly the shape of my eye. Match the shape of your eye. Go back and forth on your on your eyebrow bone. And do the same thing over here. If you have hooded eyes, you can bring it up a top, open your eyes and bring it up above where your eyelid touches here. And then when your eyes are open, you'll still be able to see that color. And when your eyes are closed, obviously. I'm gonna bring that over. Kind of bring it a little bit. Not at a point, but just kind of fluff it a little bit that way. A little bit out towards your temple. Kind of at an angle up, it kind of helps make your eyes look a little bit wide open. And I have to apologize. I don't know if it's translated. I think it is because I can see it in the monitor. I had a very bad allergic reaction overnight last night and my eyes were swollen shut almost. So they're not looking so great right now, but we're going to keep this show on the road here. So next we are going to take the same brush. I'm going to show you here. I'm just kind of wiping it off here. You can also use something called a color switch. It's just sort of like a sponge that you can kind of rub in. Um, somebody gave me this. It's very nice of them. I use it, but rarely. I'm so used to rubbing my brush if I'm going to use the same brush on my on a towel. Um, make sure it's a clean towel because it was a nasty towel. You put nasty stuff on your face. Okay, so we are going to take our medium color with the same brush. For that color, I think I'm going to use majesty which is right here i'm going to swirl our brush in there and tap it off and we're just going to go kind of make that sort of give a little bit of dimension to this look we're just going to take it and put it right into our socket here right see where that that is right there I'm just going to go back and forth. Short, short strokes. It's 
see how that just added a little bit of color, a little bit of difference. I like it. I'm going to go in again. Do it to your comfort level. You can bring it all the way through. I'm going to bring it. I'm going to try to explain this. So when I bring the color in, I'm going to bring it to where it hits. When my eyes are open, I'm going to bring this little bit darker shade to where it hits my pupil. You can do it, whatever makes you feel like. So this makes my eyes look a little bit bigger. My eyes are not small, um, but I like them to look bigger. I like them to look wider, more awake because I'm generally tired because I don't sleep very well. So we're just going to bring that to the opacity that we want, to the brightness, vividness, whatever you want to call it. Okay. We are going to go ahead and do the other side. Put it right there. I'm just, I got a cat hair on my face. My cat was down here with me a couple of minutes ago and he was rubbing on me. Back and forth, just kind of bringing that in, like I said, to meet my pupil right here. You can use your pupil as a guide, just like I am, no matter what shape your eye is. And that should help you bring it to the center of your eye on both eyes. Because the most difficult thing is making each eye look exactly the same. I'm not paying attention to my palette here. I'm touching it and sticking the color on the mirror. Okay. Okay. I like that. Next, we're going to use our angled liner brush. It's thin. I don't know if you can really kind of see that. Next, we are going to take our, we're going to line our, I'm going to do it without color first, our lash line right here. And then we're going to try to line the lower lash line using shadow as our eyeliner instead of um, an eyeliner. All right, so we are going to go into that darker matte shade that we that you're choosing today I'm gonna to use vibration which is this one here it's a brown you could use a different color I mean I could use whisper which is a darker color right here um, I could also bring ma ma majesty majesty down if I wanted to but I like sometimes like to use a lot of colors give myself a challenge I suppose I don't know okay so I'm gonna put the palette down whoopsie I'm gonna close my eyes and still try to let you see this I start kind of in the middle of my eye I go back in and then I'm going to bring it from the middle to the inner corner And that's that. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Just where your lashes are. Don't bring it all the way into your inner corner because, I don't know, you can if you want to. <laughs> I'm not going to. Because I like to, I'm going to use my inner corner. We're going to do a little highlight in the inner corner like we did last time. All right. So now I'm going to take, dip into that color again. This time I'm going to take the angle the other way with the angle kind of coming out towards my temple. So the short end is going to be down and the long end is going to be up. And I'm going to go along my bottom lash line. Not in my water line. I'm turning it around just to drag it up the other way. Not in my water line. At the lash, the lash line.
See that? One eye compared to the other eye. This one looks much more defined, much more open. I actually look like I have a lash line, whereas on this side I look like I have no lashes, which I don't have very many on the on the bottom lash. Same thing over here. And I turn it around when I want to drag the other way. Now my eyes water, so my inner corner, especially the outer inner corner, I lose color there. So what I go, I always go back and take that and just kind of stamp it in that outer corner. Otherwise it'll be bare and I won't have any color there. Just like that. Okay. So what I want to do, you don't have to because this is perfectly fine. Perfectly fine the way it is. We'll, we'll blend a little better in a minute. Like I said, we always go back and touch up. I'm going to take this little smudger brush and I'm going to go into you can go into your original light matte shade I'm gonna take a different color you can take a different color if you like I want to brighten up my under eye a bit so I'm gonna take wild river right here and I'm going to just kind of drag that out sort of I think people call it kind of smoking it out. I like the way that one looks better than this one for me. If you like this one better for you, do that. Just leave it as it is. Makeup is all about our comfort level, all about what makes us feel what makes you feel like you, what makes you feel pretty. I'm gonna do the same, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And I almost lost a little bit of that vibration, that liner that I made. So I'm just gonna go back and touch right here okay that makes me happy so like last time we are gonna go in with a shimmer shade one of those kind of wetty looking shades wet looking shades oh I have the hiccup sorry um, so I think for that, these aren't super shimmery, but they're going to do, they're, they're going to do the job. They're going to do what we want them to do. I'm thinking either sublime, sublime, which is right here or surreal, which is right here. I'm thinking sublime. So I'm just going to take that on my finger like we did last time and we're just gonna stamp that I always start in the middle of my eye I think I do that because I'm afraid to put too much color on my inner corner and then try to fix it so I'd rather start with the most color on my inner corner in that or my inner my middle eye and then just drag it to the inner corner as the color is less on my finger and more on my eye so I'm just going to bring that all over my lid. I love shimmer so much. I've been told by, I went to a, um, what do you call those? Like a, a party at someone's house where the person who was, who, the party was for 
like one of those multi-level marketing um it was for one of those multi-level marketing businesses and the woman wanted us wanted us to use her makeup to show us how to do makeup well i already had a full face of makeup on that wasn't taking it off but that's a whole nother story <laughs> she was not happy with me but um this was probably 10 years ago so what i was like 38 or 39 something like that and she you know with asking us questions and whatever she kind of deduced that i was close to 40 um or she just guessed it right on i don't know she told me that women of a certain age should not wear shimmer. Um, Ma'am, I'm gonna wear what I want every time, every day. Again, my middle finger <laughs> all over the lid. And I've heard that before people have come to me and be like, how do you do that? How do you wear shimmer? People that I work with, people that I know, friends, family, whatever. They're like, how do you wear shimmer? How can you get away with it? What, am I going to go to jail if I wear it? I'm going to wear it because I like it. Um, I'm going to say that a lot because I say that all the time. I do what I want. I don't care. Um, I'm not worried about hurting anybody's feelings. So somebody said to me, actually just a couple of days ago, I was told I can't wear shimmer. She, this person is a couple of years younger than me, I believe. Um, I said, why can't you? Why can't you? She said, well, I was told I'm too old to wear shimmer. Are you? I'm not. <laughs> if someone else thinks I'm too old, that's their problem, not mine. I put it on. I like it. I think it's pretty. I make, it makes me feel good. And that's what I'm doing this for, me, for me to feel good, for me to be happy. I mean, I could be happy without makeup too, just like anybody else, but the whole process, I love it. I find it cathartic. I find it therapeutic. I love coming up with a new look every day. Um, so that's my, that's my deal. Okay. So we got that on and I didn't do too bad today. Usually I get the shimmer everywhere. You know, not skinny fingers. Um, so I'm just going to take this brush with no pigment on it, no color, and just kind of smooth the edge of the shimmer. Almost like it's disappearing into my skin. It's there and then it just gradually disappears. That's why we like to blend. So it looks like, looks like that's where it came from. It came from us. It came from within us. Okay. I like that. I like it a lot. I have a lot of stray eyebrows. I'm getting my hair done in a couple of weeks. And my Amber girl will, will uh, wax my eyebrows. Um... We are going to, sorry, I didn't mean to blow you a kiss. Um, we are going to highlight our inner corner. We're going to take that. This is a pencil brush, but it's a different pencil brush than I used, than we used last time. Um, I was going to use one of these. I could actually use this one. But this one's my favorite. Um, it's... I think it's called a dual fiber. It's towards the inner part of the brush. It's um, synthetic. And then up here, it's a, it's still synthetic, but it's a different kind of fiber. And I just feel like it picks up for my inner corner or my shimmer highlight a little better. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and just put that right on my inner corner. We're going to drag it a tiny bit up. Tiny bit down. And I didn't put highlighter on yet 
because I didn't know what color inner corner I was going to do. I was undecided because I was almost going to grab another palette. To do the inner corner and then I decided that this one actually looks like it it will do. I'm going to take a little more. So I like it. I don't even think I need to go back and blend too much. I'm good with that. So I think I'm not doing this on camera, okay? I'm just I'm going to add our our highlight here. I usually spray my face. Oops. I usually spray my face with um my setting spray and then put my Ugh. highlight is the best Hi if you don't highlight highlight we're going to learn how to do that um okay eyelash curler time remember gently close it if you feel your eyelid in the lash curler don't squeeze. Give it a couple of pumps. Scoot up the edge of your lash. I do that and I've recommended that to other people and they have come back and told me that it makes such a difference for them. So I do it. I've always done it. I was shown to do that a long time ago. So that's what I do. Same thing on this eye, no squeezing until you're certain that your eyelid is not in the crimper because you will get a black and blue eye. I've done it. Not thinking, just poof and whoa, and it hurts and you will cry. Your eyes will water, I promise. Okay, we're gonna go in with our mascara. You don't have to. Probably if you have the hooded eyes, you don't want to do this. Um, I touch the very lid, the very lid, the very tip of my lash and kind of drag it down and then I bring it up. Because I like the lash, the color on the tip of my lash. I don't know why. I don't think it makes a difference, but I always do it. trying to do it without making a stupid face but I can't make any promises my face is stupid sometimes okay you can take the brush and kind of twirl it my eyes are starting to water because I hate my eyes touched so much my eyes hate it. Oh, look what I did. I just took a Q-tip and kind of lifted that off. Um, it kind of clumped down. I think my mascara is getting a little old. Okay. I mentioned this last time. I have baby eyelashes on my bottom lash. My upper lashes, I like them. They're great, fine, whatever. Maybe not great, but they're fine. So I take another <laughs> totally different mascara for my lower lash line because this has a skinny, skinny, skinny wand and that grabs those little hairs and makes me look like I actually have lower lashes. Look at that, what do you know? Check yourself. What do you think? Do you like it? I like it. Um, you know what? Don't be shy. 
be proud of yourself. Be happy with who you are. Be happy with what you look like. There's only one you. So, okay. I'm happy. I like it. So, until next time. Um, I'm not really sure what we're going to do next time. I think I have a little plan, but I'm not going to reveal it today. You'll have to come back for... What is this? This is tutorial number two. So you have to come back for tutorial number three. So hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload videos. I've also got a few get ready with me's going on. Um, I'm thinking about doing some other kind of topics while we do makeup. I haven't quite settled on some things yet. I'm kind of coercing my husband to help me. <laughs> so anyway, um, thank you so much for spending time with me. I had a great time. Hope you did too. If you have any comments, questions, leave them down in the comment section below. If you want your um, question or comment to be kept private, YouTube is a public domain. Um, you can hit me up on Instagram at topicbeauty49. And I will address your questions there. Um, next time we meet, we'll do some other things, as I mentioned. Um, I had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.